By now you have watched the Mythbusters Archimedes Death Ray episode to learn the history pertaining to solar reflection as a weapon. You have also applied math to solar reflection in the web quest you completed. Through both of these activities, you should have learned that parabolas and ellipses have the unique attribute of having focal points, and through the web quest, you have learned how to calculate the location of these focal points. Now we're going to synthesize both of these ideas and apply them to the math behind a satellite dish lined with mirrors. This satellite dish has been lined with 14,000 square inches of mirror to create a highly reflective parabolic surface. Your job is to find out exactly how far away from the center of the dish the actual focal point will be. This will tell us the point at which the light entering the satellite dish will reflect to. After locating this satellite dish's focal point, we will be able to optimize the solar power of this dish. To calculate the focal point of this satellite dish, you will need to know two measurements and one equation. The first measurement is the diameter of the dish, which is 122 inches. You will also need to know that the depth of the dish is 19 inches. With these two measurements, we are going to calculate the equation of the cross-section of this satellite dish, which is a parabola. Recall that the standard form of a parabola is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Once you have the equation of the satellite dish, you will need to refer to your notes to find the method of calculating the location of the focal point of any parabola. It is your turn to use the math you have learned this year to calculate the exact focal point of this satellite dish. Be careful with all calculations. We want to harness the power of the sun as efficiently and effectively as possible. Today we calculate, tomorrow we cook hot dogs with the power of math. Satellite in my eyes, like a diamond in the sky. How I